ARC, A-R-C, stands for Avatar Rendering Cost. This isn't Sesame Street, but some of these tools we've added can help you make it easier, like A-V-C, <laughs> to tell what's going on in world. Specifically, when there's a lot of avatars in Second Life, you probably notice things can feel laggy. Lag in this regard is specifically about how expensive it is to render each avatar. And some avatars are more expensive than others because they may have a lot of details which increase processing time, such as really flexy and really primy hair. But that's not the only story. So each of these elements has a certain point cost. And it all adds up. There's this wonderful, wonderful article by Pastrami Linden and Runite Linden. And I recommend you check that out. It's on our official blog about how these point systems work. But let's have a look at where to see the arc. And it's an advanced menu. If you don't have one of these, you press Control Alt D on a PC or Option Control D on a Mac. Notice on and off like that. And let's head on over to the rendering and then to info displays and Arc, avatar rendering cost, and halos won't appear over people's heads, but you'll get numbers, floating text, and green means it's good, yellow is uh, and red is uh, bad. Not to say that it's forbidden, but it's good to be aware. Like I said, this is a tool. Don't go witch hunting and hating on people just because they have a high arc, but strive to educate, seek to inform, and delight in creativity while at the same time being aware about constraints and creative limits and what you can do in terms of resourcefulness. So as you can see, everyone's got an arc there. And people with really flexy skirts probably have a higher arc. But in any case, this is one easy tool we provide. Try it out. ARC, Avatar Rendering Cost. 